Hey everybody, Ghost Fox here today. We're taking a look at a wireless gaming headset from HUHD. It is the HW398M, and this is a look at the box here. It is a wireless headset capable of working with the PS4, the PS3, the 360, and uh, Xbox One if you have correct adapters for it and the PC as well. Now, this does come with the necessary adapters for the PS4 and the PS3. It has an optical wire attachment that all connect to the little uh, wireless transmission unit, and this works on 2.4 gigahertz, similar to what um, some of your wireless phones um, might work at. Didn't have any conflict that I noticed with any of the wireless devices in the house, so um, I don't think that'll be an issue for you. But the headset itself is this little guy. It's by HUHD. And uh, it's very light. It expands pretty well. The construction on this is a, a little bit on the cheaper side, but this is a less expensive wireless gaming headset. I mean, a lot of them can run easily $100, $200. This one's only at the, you know, sort of 50 60 mark. So it's definitely an entry-level wireless gaming headset. And it does pretty well. The ear cups on it are a little on the, a little on the shallower side, so I think that if your ears stick out quite a bit, maybe a little more than mine do, you might have some discomfort there from long play sessions. The inner part of the ear cup, though, is padded. This does have a little bit of padding, unlike some where it's just the cloth up against that hard plastic earpiece. This does have a little bit of padding, so I think that helps to stave off any kind of discomfort that you might get. Um, Otherwise, it's pretty comfortable. The headband has these nice little squishy pads on the top of it, and it fits easily on my head. But if you had a bigger head, this is going to fit pretty well, too. The only issue you might have if you do have a larger head is that this bottom portion of the ear cup may be sticking out a little. And um, a lot of people don't prefer that. You don't quite get the seal. These do have a very, very small amount of natural noise cancellation, but it is not a feature worthy of speaking of. You are not going to get good uh, noise cancellation or isolation out of this headset. So definitely don't consider that. As you can see, it's got a little boom mic. Unusually, this is on the right side. I mean, it looks like it's on your left, but this is off of the right ear, which is going to be a little weird for some people. There are some headsets where it can kind of swivel around either direction. A majority, though, they're on that left side. This one is on the right, so it might maybe feel a little bit weird, and if you are the type of person that, that really wants that on the left side so it's kind of out of your way, uh, this definitely doesn't do that. However, the mic is detachable, so if you have a broadcast mic, a boom mic, or, or anything like that, you don't have to use this. Um, the microphone itself is actually not that good of quality. The problem with it is, particularly on the PC, it only gets 16,000, I think that's hertz or kilohertz, and uh, that's like FM radio level quality, whereas with some of the better headsets you're getting at least 41,000 if not 48,000, which are your CD and DVD quality microphone. This one is very basic, the sound on it is not great, but it was clear, there wasn't a lot of static, but it had to be fairly close to my mouth and the, the quality of sound was not that good, it's not very deep, it's not very broad, so you do have a little bit of that issue. Um, but if you just want a basic microphone and you're not really that picky, yeah, they can hear me. Okay, good. If that's all you really care about, it's not really an issue. But I do like to bring that up for people who want uh, really good clarity in their microphone. This just kind of isn't going to deliver that. It does do a good job delivering on sound, however. It uh, does not have the, the sort of deep, booming uh, lows or bass that you might get out of some other headsets, but for a wireless headset in this price range, it does deliver pretty good sound. I would say above average, but not great. The sound comes through clearly, and it is full. You do get decent low, mid, and high, but there's, there's really no like absolute crystal clarity, and neither are you getting any booming bass. I mean, if you're going to listen to any kind of pop, or if you're playing something that's got explosions and gunfire, it's going to be there. You're going to notice it. It's going to be clear, but it's not going to be to uh, a high level. But again, this, as an entry-level headset, you probably shouldn't expect to get perfection out of it. It delivers on everything pretty well. 
It doesn't do anything excellently, but it doesn't really suffer from any problems aside from what I think is a, a relatively low quality microphone, and that may just be um, a PC issue. Search as I might, I could not find any drivers on the web uh, for this. It's just plug and play shows up as a 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone or headset and um, I could not find anything um, online at all. It's a, a Chinese company so maybe if I could put Chinese characters in I would get some options there but I just don't. So it's a decent option for an entry-level wireless gaming headset because other ones can be pretty expensive so if you just want the simplicity of and freedom of being able to move around wherever you want you know leaning forward and backward there's no cord to mess with your hands are completely free all the little controls for volume and the microphone mute are right on the side of the head so it's pretty easy to use easy to charge but you you do take a little bit of a hit to quality in paying for that that simplicity in your your inexpensive gaming headset so that is a look at the HUHD and um, so, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's, it's okay. Um, anyway, if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up or a like and uh, let me know. Hopefully I gave you guys some information and you can move forward on deciding whether or not this is the right headset for you. Anyway, thanks for watching.